Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 best places to live in New Mexico. New Mexico is one of the most geographically diverse of the 50 American states. It seems this southerly state really does have it all, buzzing metropolitan cities, quaint rural villages, the Chihuahuan Desert, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, the list just goes on and on. Did you know that New Mexico has an official state tree? The pinyon pine crops up wherever you go, a true symbol of the state. The pinion nut is a tasty and nutritious snack, sprinkle on your salad for a bit more texture. Why are we talking about salads? Back to business, New Mexico is a highly desirable state to reside in. With a diverse and hard-working population of 2.1 million people, there is a strong Latino community here. Whenever it comes to choosing a place to live there are a few factors that we should all take into account, whether you've realized it or not, you're concerned with crime statistics, standard of public schools and median house prices. Right? Finding all this information in one bite-sized chunk is pretty hard, fear not, we've done the hard graft for you. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 best places to live in New Mexico. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 best places to live in New Mexico. Number 10. Farmington. Farmington is located near the Four Corners region, just a short drive from Shiprock and Bloomfield. The town was originally formed on a strong agricultural foundation, but today the economy is largely centered around oil and gas production. Farmington lies just outside the Navajo Nation Reservation, and there are numerous trading posts nearby that feature authentic Native American art. At the convenient junction of three rivers and three major highways is Farmington, the hub for northwestern New Mexico and economically strong in coal, natural gas, and petroleum mining. Attractions include Ricketts Park, which for 50 years has hosted baseball's Connie Mack World Series for boys ages 16 to 18. Number 9. Edgewood. In Santa Fe County is the town of Edgewood, with a residential population of 3,773, the town limits have expanded into Bernalillo and Torrance counties too. Despite its rural aesthetic, Edgewood is a growing town and is not far from jumping from a countryside feel to a suburban atmosphere. This is not necessarily a bad thing, what comes with town expansion? Better facilities and improved infrastructure. Factors that would be of real benefit to Edgewood. Edgewood is one of the safest places to live in New Mexico, it is the occasional theft or burglary that created Edgewood's crime rating to begin with, and there are few other incidents aside from these. Edgewood is certainly a more affluent area of New Mexico, median home value is $200,000 and annual household income is $57,300. Number 8. Santa Fe. Described as an artistic and creative city, home to 83,000 people there is plenty going on in the city of Santa Fe. This is an expensive city to live in compared to Albuquerque, for example. Median home value is a steep $259,000 which is high for New Mexico and given the slow job climate, you should have work secured before settling in Santa Fe. Being a large city, Santa Fe has a diverse population both in terms of ethnic background and economic standing. Local people love the architecture and the progressive nature of the city. The economy is strengthening here in Santa Fe, perhaps in a few years' time it will have crept into the top 10 best places to live in New Mexico. Number 7. Las Cruces. With there being a nearly 50-50 split of residents living in owned homes and rented, there is a suitably diverse community of residents in Las Cruces. Much like Albuquerque CDB, cost of living in Las Cruces is ideal. $743 a month for rental properties and $148,000 for entire homes, on average. Proximity to the prehistoric Trackways National Monument and the Robledo Mountains are a serious draw for Las Cruces. This is by no means an affluent city, the average household earns just $41,000 a year, that's $12,000 less than the national average. Despite this the residents of Las Cruces are happy and content in their home here. A good range of public schools keeps parents happy, outdoor activities and entertainment facilities keep youngsters amused and an improving employment climate is keeping the workforce satisfied. Number 6. Albuquerque. Although not the state capital, Albuquerque is the largest city in New Mexico, home to half a million people and can be found in the high desert. As you would expect from such a large city, joblessness is hardly an issue, 
work opportunities are aplenty and the cost of living agreeable. Sadly though, being a major city the crime statistics are less than ideal. With local people describing the city as the land of enchantment suffice to say that they skim over these issues, perhaps we should too. As far as major cities go, property in Albuquerque is seriously affordable. Average house prices are on the $185,000 mark with monthly rent hovering at $799. Number 5. Paradise Hills. Paradise by name and paradise by nature? Maybe so. Paradise by price? Maybe not. The cost of living in Paradise Hills is far greater than areas like Mesilla, but there is still a lot to love about this Brunelio County suburb. The fact that the Piedras Marcadas Canyon is right on the doorstep is a major bonus point next to Paradise Hills name. This cozy community is made up of 4,700 residents who are more than satisfied with their lives here. Paradise Hills has been marked as the most popular place in New Mexico for millennials. Not only can we expect the population to boom over the next decade but amenities and infrastructure too. Will it still be paradise then? Only time will tell. Number 4. Rio Rancho. Rio Rancho is home to 91,800 people, nearly 5% of New Mexico's entire population. With so many people residing in the area, suitable investment has been made in infrastructure and amenities. Restaurants like Indigo Crow Cafe and Heaven Dragon are popular with local people and there is a strong social scene developing in Rio Rancho. For parents seeking excellent schooling for their children there is very little to complain about in Rio Rancho, from elementary level through to high school, this suburb is home to some of the best schools in the state. Average property prices in Rio Rancho may seem dear at first glance but the value for money is outstanding. An investment of $189,000 would see you acquire a two-story, four-bedroom, three-bathroom family home. Number 3. Masia. This small town in Dona Ana County narrowly misses out on a spot in the top five best places to live in New Mexico. We're sure the cozy population of 2,400 people won't mind too much for they keep themselves to themselves. For those seeking a rental property, Masia is the first of our named places so far that offers monthly rents below the national average. At $753 per month, on average, renting in Masia is a sensible move, for median home value is a punchy $255,000. Masia is ranked as the second safest place to live in New Mexico. Local people are quick to inform newcomers that crime is seldom an issue here in this suburb of Las Cruces. Number 2. Corrales. One of many villages in Sandoval County, Corrales is a community that thrives on agricultural income. The success of this small settlement is largely due to its proximity to the Rio Grande River that hydrates the otherwise desert-like lands. Crime in Corrales is consistently low which provides long-standing and new residents alike with ample peace of mind. This is, in part, due to the strong community-orientated attitude adopted by residents. Throughout the year, there are a number of festivals that see the community join together to share and enjoy life in New Mexico. The 45 public schools in Corral are excelling. The top five schools can all offer their students an A-rated education program which goes a long way when applying for university down the line. Number 1. Los Alamos. Skiers, snowboarders, and mountain bikers, gather round. You will be delighted to hear that the best place to live in New Mexico is Los Alamos, nestled beneath the foothills of the Pajarito Mountain the Jemez Mountain Range. This 11,000-strong community of New Mexicans just adore living here in Los Alamos and who can blame them? Idealistic cost of living, countless opportunities to get outdoors and get fit with the added benefit of all the facilities and amenities you would expect from living in a city. What's not to love? According to local people, very, very little. With median household income being $98,000 a year, the residents of Los Alamos work hard for the life they have here and appreciate every single second of it. So, which is your favorite places among the top 10 best places to live in New Mexico? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 best places to live in New Mexico in the comments below. 
I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.